Alright, so I'm up against a US player. I'm not sure what his name is. He's got a Chinese background and he's in the top 100. Looks like he has gone US Airborne. And what's highly likely is that Airborne squad has gone straight for my fuel. So, expecting this, I'm going to get a Grenadier first out. I'm going to get my Ketan Crad out. I'm going to cap this fuel and that fuel with use. my Ketan Crad. And then I'm immediately going to get a mortar after that to help me push around his MG. We can see here that he's done the the usual thing, just dumping that MG on that house, which is probably the poorest thing about this map. Um, it's quite a... Uh, it's quite strong placing that MG in that house. Some people will first place the MG here, cap the fuel, and then go to the house from there. So that's why I do check if I can quickly ninja cap that. But in this circumstance, he's gone straight there. I can't do anything about it. It's his until I get the mortar out. So I will go early mortar and then just dance around him. I will check if he's still there. No, he's not. So I'm going to quickly cap this now. And once I've capped that, I'm going to just reverse to this far location here. I've got time to cap that. And back on up. If I need... Oh, no. Am I still within range? I didn't realize that. So we'll just re do a quick repair. And what I want to do here is I'm looking to cut him off. Actually, I should actually cap that over there. The enemy has claimed our sector. Moving to capture. Keep up. You need a mortar crew on your feet. We must. Ready. We have orders. Pioneers have to Moving to capture territory. No contact. Engines warm up. So I can bait that. I've baited him into setting up the MG at that given point in time, and my mortar's going to start shooting away. So he's still cut off there, which is fine. I'll just head south here a little bit. And now I'm just going to drive around this house. I think I can kill this. Now, what has to be done here? I'm just sitting here because I don't want him to cap that, basically. I'm going to go south with this squad. Set up the mortar. Deny him from capping this. I've got another Grand coming up through here. I'm going to barrage this squad. Lost. So I'm quite content just to stay here and fight this. My grands are going to get the military advantage against that rifle squad. I need to get one MG as well, actually. Alright, I'm going to race my Kettencrad to decap his fuel now. Just let the mortar keep on doing its thing. The longer I stall out these engagements, the more the mortar is going to come out ahead in the engagement. But 
But now I do need to fight against that position there. Let's play some mines on his fuel. I'll upgrade Vet 1 as well. I'll merge there. Perfect. He's going to be forced to recrew that. We'll rotate on this MG into his retreat path. And now I just decap his fuels. Research completed. The enemy has claimed our territory for their own. All right, let's shoot a flare here. Nice. Get another mine down. I want to send these pioneers north because they'll be able to kill these scouts. If I can get a couple more mines down, it'll be great. Get the tech structure up and then I should be able to get out a... Yeah, I'll get out an 8 rad here. A, a well time 8 rad is actually enough to kill him. The enemy have taken our territory. Oh, he's gone bars. So yeah, if I just get an eight right here, I've won the game. I just got to turn off the auto reinforce. I'm about to get that eight right out. Victory point is under enemy control. All right, time to put the reinforce back on. And now it's really just about putting pressure on his... Um... Oh, he's even gone for... He's even gone for grenades, so... Even if I really wanted to, a double eight right here is really going to hurt him. He's gone quite greedy on the anti-infantry. And the north, north has been quite heavily mined here. You can hear all the mines popping off. And I'm getting some nice veterancy on my Kettenkrad as a result. I do have a mine there. So if he overextends here, this is going to really hurt him. I don't mind if he tries to... Like a satchel on me here. Oh, that was quite fortunate. We have vehicles ready to be deployed. All right, let's set the Kettenkrad up north now to cap up the rest of this map. I'll put the MG in a forward aggressive position. Don't know why he's going that way, but let's keep on capping there. Actually, no, no. I don't need to repair that. Let's just chase down that. Get another mine down. Garage that. Yeah, I'm going to go for the double eight right here. Eight 
This will really punish him. And this is what you want to do against players that are being greedy and going for double... Both the grenades and the bar upgrade. And an anti-tank gun. He doesn't have any mobility. I can just exploit the fact that he doesn't have mobility, and I do. I can shoot flares here, have complete vision dominance, and understand exactly where he's sending his units. I'm just mining up the map as I move. Keep on using my mobility, and really just shutting him down from any... Any... Any plays by constantly moving around the map. These guys are now going to leap forward. Go for a flank onto this MG. I'm also going to smoke just behind here so that anti-tank gun doesn't hurt me. And now we just keep pushing. Enemy forces have claimed our territory. Have vehicles ready to be deployed. There's the bar. So the reason why I squad wiped that rifle was basically because he was so distracted with the eight rads running him down that I could make a quick victory um, from that long retreat path. But also, yeah, this is a, a good showcase game of just recognizing that you don't have to panic. Sometimes when your opponent drops an MG in this building, or this building if you're on the northern spawn, just keep calm. Just focus on the other parts of the map. At this point here, work your way into the center. Once you've worked your way into the center, you can always get an early mortar because they're going to have a very slow-moving army by having MGs, and then you can just put pressure with your mortar here, here, wherever it has to be, and that mortar transitions better into the late game than what a MG does, because the mortar is going to be able to provide vision with the flare, it's going to provide vision with the smoke, and obviously a barrage, so if there is a transition into anti-tank guns, you can shut it down quite readily. Um, yeah, I'll show you the stats for those that want to see it. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time. Bye!